cycle of trail about a mile, 277 steps down and 277 steps back up uh, to see some cave dwellings from uh, when Indians lived in this valley, in this uh, canyon. Okay, here we go. Hope I can do it. <laughs> Yeah, that's where we're going. Way down there. All the way to the bottom. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you can get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out Pretty wide. Get over to the right. <laughs> She's got to make it back up. She can't stay down here forever. No. If I make it back, you give me if you, make, bucks? If, you, if you make it back, I won't kick you in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rooms. Here's a room right here. created by the <laughs> park service or if that's actually a leftover from one of the Indian roads. I find a shady bench. I need to drink some water. Get a good one, you can send to me. I think there's a mountain lion following us. More than one bathroom on this trail. <laughs> That'll keep you from slipping off the rock. This is pretty neat that they actually lived in these. And I see now that with a wall like that, you just make it so like a crawling child couldn't they couldn't get out. They couldn't crawl over that wall. Pretty big rooms there.
I guess this made it really defendable. Everything's kind of black in there too. Like, it must have had a, a fire inside in, in the winter time. Just to keep warm. different families, places to store things. This was supposed to let the smoke out right above the doorway and they'd hang a hide over the door to keep the cold air out. There's not like footprints in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's okay to go in those. Right. Yeah, be banging your head on the ceiling all the time if you wasn't careful. <laughs> Got Cindy to sit down and take a break at this shady spot and this overhang. She's pulling the things out. Woo. She put her hand against the rock to not fall. <laughs> Well, you know, you wasn't going to fall. You just put your hand on the rock because it makes you feel better. But there was a cactus there. So now she's still trying to get the spines out. <laughs> a lot of rooms across the way there. So. across the way so I was reading this placard here about how the families built their homes close to each other because uh, that was a reminder that they were supposed to love each other and take care of each other uh, when a man was getting ready to build a, a new house he gathered all the materials and his friends and relatives and the clan they helped and came helping build a new house when they needed one. There are a lot of small ruins too. Okay, you about ready? Yep. All right. At least it's shady. Amazing, just amazing. And we have it on good authority from Bill Lee, the ranger down there that just gave us a really good story about the canyon and all the rocks and stones. And Bill says that the shiny sparkly crystals in this rock are a type of geode. And he says, without a doubt, those geodes are leftovers of unicorn poop. That's right, unicorns used to be here. That was back when it was Pangea. And this is another kind of geode in the rock that Bill was telling us about. That's an iron type geode in the middle of this cliff. Yeah, breathing hard, halfway up. <laughs> 